in this video we're going to talk about some administration stuff we're going to get our NIT numbers yep so your NIT is your identification tax number that you're going to need if you want to look at opening a bank account here in El Salvador if you're wanting to register your car and it does help with your um, long-term visas as well to have that so it's a pretty quick process you can go online and you can fill in some Spanish forms if you're good with Spanish or you can do what we did which was we turned up and we basically went in so you'll need less than ten dollars that was what it cost for both of us yeah. and you'll need a couple of hours to go through the process yeah. you'll need to take your passports so they can photocopy them and it's a really convenient location to go and do it so it's next it's the mall next to the multi plaza mall and these are very modern new malls very convenient lots of parking in the multi plaza <laughs> and uh, you can just turn up uh, you pay the money you get your passports photo photographed and then because we hadn't filled in the forms we were really lucky the customer care lady there she filled it in all our forms for us and then pretty much printed off our NIT cards we then had to go and get those laminated so it was another 65 cents I think for the lamination and that was it easy process very easy Mm -hmm. nice and safe nice yeah. and easy uh, yeah. yeah and we can now go and open a bank account exciting which is way Next. more complicated <laughs> <laughs> need a few more bits of paper so in the multi plaza mall there's also the office of immigration so getting used to this mm -hmm. area is actually quite convenient so the mall next to the multi plaza is where we actually went to get our NITs done. Yeah, and that again, as, as James just said, is where you go for immigration as well. So really handy that they're all in the, under, in the the same one, area. under the one roof. Yeah. So as mentioned, the NIT number is needed for opening a bank account, registering a vehicle in your name and going through your visa process. This is different to what is called a DUI number or a DUI, which is basically an identification number on the next level once you have a residency or uh, citizenship. 